Welcome to PXP channel. If you like the videos then please do not forget to hit the like as well as the subscribe button because that will motivate me to make many such videos. Also your valuable comment will help me improve the content. So please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. In the previous video we created the employee drawer and in this video we will start with the um, actual functionality. In the screen package uh, we will create another uh, member uh, let's name it as registered employee dot dat and as usual we will start with importing the material uh, dot dat uh, class and then we will uh, create the register employee class it is extending stateful widget and we are overriding the state method and uh, let's create the uh, register employee state class and this will extend uh, a state let's override the build method of uh, the state and this is going to return a, scaf a scaffold object and as usual uh, we will declare a variable just to use the default padding um, and within scaffold we are creating a app bar and the title of the app bar is register employee and uh, let's create a form which will contain two fields with padding uh, minimum padding into two so that means that will have 10 pixels and uh, within this uh, list view we are creating um, a text field let's add uh, some uh, default text style and we will use that style in this in this field and this is the controller which will be uh, responsible for communicating between the screen and the um, program so this this will uh, be responsible for you know passing the values from the screen to the program and we are just checking if uh, no values are entered then we will uh, throw a message saying that please enter your name and it's a kind of you know validation message And the label of the field will be first name and uh, the hint text will be enter your first name and this is for styling let's select and uh, format everything Similarly, we'll change the first name to last name, and we are control uh, changing the control from first controller to last controller. These are the variables as i said that uh, th these variables will be used to communicate between the screen and uh, the program right and then uh, at the end we will add a button to submit uh, the form
and name of the button will be submit that's all we will add in this class for now once um, we cl uh, somebody clicks on register employee uh, in the drawer then uh, the screen will be navigated to register employee uh, page so that is what we are doing here in this class in this employee drawer class let's run the project and see uh, if the control is uh, navigating properly yes it is working let's create another class and the name of the class will be get employee uh, dot dat and as usual we'll start with importing the uh, material dot dat and we will create this class by extending stateful widget and uh, um, we will override the create state method and we will also create this um, class get all employee state and it, it will extend uh, the state yeah let's override the method build method and here also we will return a scaffold object and as usual it will contain another app bar and the name of the um, app title of the app bar will be uh, all employee details and we will add a back button so that is why we have coded icon start arrow underscore back get all employees uh, classes ready let's create another uh, class let's name it as update employee dot dat and we will start with importing material dot dat uh, class and then let's create employee uh, update uh, employee which will extend stateful widget and we are overriding the state method here and uh, we are creating an update employee state which again extends state and uh, this we are overriding the build class sorry build method and it is returning a scaffold which contains another app bar uh, let's uh, name it as update employee and let's decorate it and add a button this is this button is to go back to the main screen and we will add uh, unpressed action and uh, we will create delete employee class now and let's create the delete employee state class and as usual we will uh, override the build method of it and it is will return to get employees once a delete is successful that's it for now and in subsequent videos we will add uh, the http part and we will also test the application thoroughly one thing you must have noticed that uh, uh, i have fast forwarded the video uh, in the interest of time and if you want to follow along you can do so otherwise i will also include the github link in the description below if you have any questions or comments then please let me know in the comment section and don't uh, forget to like subscribe and share my videos